here at the Sony stand, the big news is, of course, their A1 OLED TV, which is what's drawing the crowds behind me. And it is a staggering piece of design. It uses a single sheet of glass at the front. There are no speakers. The stand is behind. It sits at an angle. And the reason there are no speakers and nothing beneath the TV itself is because there are actuators on the rear of the panel that actually use the entire front screen as a speaker. There's also a subwoofer built in to the rear stand itself to give you the audio. Very impressive and very, you know, really impressive piece of technology there. Now, in terms of the actual picture quality, of course, it's an OLED. So it has the OLED panel from a third party provider, but Sony have brought all their own proprietary technology on board as well. So you get a filter on the front, which is designed to reduce any reflections and also any magenta tint that might be present on the original panel. They also have their own processing, particularly the X1 Extreme processor that was introduced last year for the ZD9. Now, this brings all their processing power to bear on the image. Of course, you've got 4K, you've got HDR, specifically you have HDR10 right out of the box. You'll also be getting Dolby Vision added at a later date, probably in the summer. The actual release date for this TV is yet to be announced, but it will be coming out at some point in 2017. I'd hazard a guess around about the same time Dolby Vision gets launched on their TVs. In terms of other features, the rear panel at the back that holds the TV up that supports it, there's a removable panel, and in there you'll find you can run the cables to make tidy cable management, but also the panel can be moved up against the uh, rear of the panel, the support stand, and then you can wall mount it, and there are standard visa mounts in there for wall mounting. Um, overall, it's a very impressive TV. Of course, it's got Android TV as well. This will launch with Android M and be upgraded to Android N at some point next year. And when they do the upgrade to Android N, they'll also be adding HLG, Hybrid Log Gamma, which is another form of HDR. This one's specifically aimed at broadcast television. So you've got a full suite of features there, a beautiful minimalist design, and everything you could possibly want from a modern OLED TV. Really impressive technology there from Sony, very impressive piece of kit. Obviously, we have no indication at all on pricing yet. As I said, it'll be released at some point in 2017. We don't know exactly when, but we can't wait to see it.